I will go ahead and pick up tomorrow. Um, hopefully with a little bit of sunshine and stuff like that in the morning hours, I got to do some work. I'll be able to uh, come out a little bit later and the ground will be a little bit less muddy. Let me show you what our plan is with the rock that we're gonna have come in. So here's the driveway coming in. Um, of course, there's our dumpster, a little uh, run off there. And we're gonna continue the rock uh, drive all the way straight into where the new shed's going to be right there. got this pile burned pretty good. That big uh, root system stump is still being worked on right now with the fire. But look at this, this was a really big, big pile of wood. And then over here, a uh, friend of mine uh, and I were able to process a lot of the wood we wanted to save. I wanted to save and use for um, reclaimed barn wood that uh, I can either use myself or resell for people who want to do projects and things. So we've got stacks of that all here. Just needs a little bit of cleaning. And, but we pulled most of the nails out to cut the ends off a little bit. And then over here, I was able, I was a little worried about being wet because it had rained a good amount a couple, a couple three days ago. I was able to get it moved around enough to level it up. I think it's about where we, we need to have it. I'll uh, get out here with a, a, a level later and probably tomorrow actually, and get that all taken care of. Just have that pile left. And this pile here, need to, I'll probably just push that all into one pile with the tractor and, and burn it as well. And then uh, start getting this area ready for grass. And we should have our new shed here this week. He's here, he's gonna bring it in and back it right in here and create me a path here. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> how we're rolling in this is uh before i've worked on it any we got a nice solid layer of gravel in here and we're gonna come back here to where the uh this is a this rock is a 53 it's a mixture of some of the rock that's a little bit bigger than the what was a uh, the other day i think eight or nine seven or eight something like that mixed with all this um lime and stuff like that and this will pack in really good he said so that's what we're rolling with here it's creating our base and then I'm gonna kind of work it around here and get our area ready for the um, Project update guys, we have got 
things smoothed out as you saw earlier a lot of moving back and forth what you didn't see i didn't get the camera out for this uh some of the cleanup behind the scenes here <laughs> but here look at here this is gonna be nice they're supposed to be delivering the garden barn tomorrow i used my little water level to get this area nice and leveled so we can they don't have to do so much work when they get here but look at all this back here i was uh hooking up vines and pulling them out and the last one was so big it actually pulled this cedar tree down and broke it uh, i was debating whether to keep it anyway so but anyways look at that bright red cedar in there or pink i should say beautiful beautiful all right so anyways i gotta come out and clean this cedar up a little bit and i can cut that down and hmm, might be able to use that for something i don't know cedar's a good wood there's my little metal pile, sheet metal and other little pieces of mess, junk and stuff I'm finding around the property. Just kind of piling it right there and, and one day I'll come back here with the trailer or have somebody come back here with the trailer and haul it off. But much improved, much improved. Geek with the tractor out here this morning. This is the delivery day for the garden barn, all the new uh, 53 you got, it's the the rock with the the powder you know the lime and it'll make a nice hard pack we've got that laid here i just got it spread out and then i did some cleanup work around the area yesterday so let's just do a quick uh, walk through on that got it nice and clean down here so when it does rain at least it'll kind of the water will flow still around the back here and not hopefully not wash this thing out here got it graded down here and then got a lot of the trees and roots and stuff pulled out there so that's much better here's the hard pack here i've been driving over it constantly kind of working it into the softer ground in the bottom hopefully it's sufficient enough i think it should be and that there grouping of trees there is kind of the last uh little section in this area that i need to uh, pull up the roots of the and the stumps and kind of get that cleaned up then it'll be nice and uh, get some new grass in here and it'll look great. He has a long uh, gooseneck that just can't quite make the entrance into the driveway, but he has this little, <laughs> uh, shed mover looks kind of like a uh, like he's got little tracks on it so he's going to just take it off there and drive it up through that with that thing so it'll be pretty neat Thought he was going to have to bring it in with the truck and have to navigate the because uh, the, the guy who brought when we first moved here the guy brought our first garden barn he had a, a truck with like um, a crane type thing he just kind of lifted it up and dropped it um, this guy actually has what seems to be a more a, a smaller more efficient method for actually uh, maneuvering these garden barns into these tight spaces so pretty neat Well, that 
was a really neat experience. So here we are. It was just like easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Looky there. The only thing I probably will do to this is maybe put on a metal roof that'll give it more endurance. Pressure wash it. I need to pressure wash mine. It's about time. And then here we are. Looks like they left us some floaties. Nice. They delivered it with the person. Wow, bonus. We need to put them to work. We found a people in here. A people? Yeah. Wouldn't that be a person? Or you're, if you would be people, so two people. Did they deliver you with it too? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, that's cool, man. <laughs> Oh man, that was neat. I was able to use my water level and he said he wanted to YouTube. Okay, wait, wait, wait. So he's like, good job to whoever, whoever uh, did the, the drive work, the rock work. And it was like, just uh, Johnny <laughs> right there. And I used the water level and I've been thinking about doing, hold on guys. I've been thinking about doing a, uh, a tutorial on how to build a water level. I was like, yeah, there's probably most people know how to do that. But he was like, I was thinking about actually buying one. And, and I said, no, you can just do it yourself. So I know what video we're going to be making. We're going to be making on how to make a water level. Super cheap, easy to do. And I have, I, it, I made mine probably two years ago. And I just put it in the shed, get it out every year whenever I needed to do some, some you know, long range leveling and, th and uh, grading and stuff like that. And it works amazing. So anyways, look for that video coming up. Uh, but man, this is great. Let's take a walk around. Okay, so had them lay, drop it here where there's plenty of rock to pack in after some rain and things like that. And then we have, here's the corner there. Yeah, this is gonna be nice. We have plenty back here to work with. This is, this is really good. Really excited about this. What? I should be your teammate one time. And I'm gonna hide and see our bear when it goes. Yeah. Alright. Alright, geek with a tractor. Until next time, keep on tracking. And boys, we got a shed.